Original Sin Part 2 by Rosina Bakari. Mother Eve, I am so sorry for your pain. I wish I could go back in time and relieve you of your shame. Instead, cold earth sex has evolved into a universal epidemic of sexual abuse that causes more pain in this world than we should ever excuse. 90% of violators are men or boys that see women and girls as crackerjack toys. Just female body parts instead of a whole person, objectified physical forms whose mouths are cursing with silent cries of molestation and rape, sometimes in a home, sometimes out on a date, but almost always at the hands of a man as if the sight of a female is something they can't stand or is the fear of rejection, the adrenaline injection that causes the erection of aggression to seek emotional power over the physically weak. Don't be fooled. It is not sex that the violator seeks. No, this is natural selection gone awry. There's traits in the gene pool that were supposed to die. There's poison in the gene pool where the strong should not survive. Where men use their strength to destroy, not just to stay alive. Xenophobic and ego-driven indulgence in behaviors that God had forbidden, creating a curse that seems impossible to reverse. So instead of consent, we evolve with mild intent. Instead of cooperation, we evolve with condemnation. Instead of solidarity, we evolve with disparity. Men to be rulers and women to be ruled in all these years. We play Mother Nature for a fool as we dissolve so that men could barter away their daughters without their choosing while going to great lengths to make sure she was a virgin. Now ain't that amusing? While we count the men who lose their lives during war, but never the women who are raped. See, this casualty of war was always just part of the male dominance landscape, where evolution took one more rung, back down the ladder, and hopeful humanity got sadder and sadder until we live with statistics and accepted as the norm the violation of females by men's patterns of harm. Early man normalized sexual violation, even highlighted mythical gods' participation, like Leda being raped by Zeus, <laughs> even excusing it by claiming rape is prompted by an evolutionary need to reproduce. No wonder one in three females experience completion or attempt of sexual assault. Most don't ever tell because the world keeps saying it's her fault. No relationship with a man is seemingly safe. Not since the Garden of Eden where Adam determined our fate. Today we codify language like forced consent and ignore the fact that Female choice was nature's intent. Instead, female evolved with so little agency over her own skin, designed for sexual pleasure, yet chance of orgasm thin because she has been introduced as the taken and the male, the taker. But this is not how the sexual experience was designed by our maker. Being taken kills the female spirit like an overdose of pills, leaving her sexually frozen from being unwillingly chosen as the doctor and fucks as if the body is just there for the taking instead of harmonizing souls into a symphony of lovemaking. We must stop the use of the penis as a tool of destruction with truths that confront this evolutionary system of female reduction. This truth may blind you like looking directly at the sun, but that's better than the world. That's death and dumb.